those are my swag fan base rankings. And so to go through it again, I got Southern number one, Jackson State number two, Florida AM number three. I got Alcorn State number four, Gramlin State number five, Alabama State number six, Alabama AM number seven. I got TSU number eight, Prairie View AM number nine, Bethune Cookman number 10, UAPB 11, and Valley 12. So that's my SWAC fan base rankings and again man uh for all you who, who who are watching this on replay make sure you subscribe to the channel man for more pv versus everybody um you know we're looking just to you know talk about all that pv nation has going on and so i want to to now delve a little bit more into specifically what prayer view has to do if prayer view is going to climb the swag fan base rankings right because PVAMU, at the end of the day, we have an awesome opportunity right now. I mean, with the facilities that we have, uh, with the new AD that we got coming in, with the new president, right? And and just this, I mean, the new attitude, right? The new swagger I feel like they can bring. We got an opportunity really to do something for real in order to make athletics what it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Athletics as, in terms of Prairie View a University, as far as the support is concerned, right? has never been on par with even in many times right throughout the last 25 years what the athletic programs have shown themselves to be because for, as far as athletic program wise like we have we have been very 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 competitive um and won championships across the board in different um in different uh in different sporting programs right we've won multiple commissioners cups and so when you talk about an uh, athletic program that is actually putting out teams that are ch have championship caliber like preview's been doing that but as far as the support for those programs it hasn't been there and it hasn't been the same so i want to talk about a little bit about what pv needs to do in order to climb the rankings as far as fan bases is concerned right so these are my thoughts right Look, if you have any thoughts, put them in the comments, right? Of course, you know, when you talk about your SWAC fan base rankings, you know, leave those in the comments as well. Um, let me know what your what your 12 are, but let's get into it, right? So, number one, what PV gotta do, right? What Prev you gotta do, what we gotta do is we gotta engage the students. You know, there is a Bible verse that says, train up a child in a way that they should go, and when they get old, they would not depart from it. The reality is when it comes to the alumni of Prairie View is the training that PV has given the alumni and Prairie View has always been an amazing academic institution and it will continue to be. Right. And so we don't take away from that. Right. What we're seeking to do is build on top of that. But when you have trained alumni over years to think a certain way toward the athletic program, then at the end of the day, you got to realize that that's not what you need to set as your foundation. That's not what your base needs to be because you need to start building a uh, PV nation fanatics for life. And you do that first and foremost by starting with the freshmen that enter into your campus. Like you got to change the atmosphere. You got to change the environment. You got to change the feel of the student engagement in terms of athletics. Right. And in terms of how the university connects the student population with athletics on campus. So that's where you got to start. That's where you got to get your base at. Right. That's one third of your base right there. And so when you talk about the student sections, uh, in basketball, you talk about the student sections in the football. When you talk about the support in the, in the other athletic uh programs and fields right in some of those other athletic those secondary athletic programs you don't even need multiple thousands of people there right i mean you talk about a handful i mean 100 200 people at some of those athletic events and man you got a crowd that can really change like change the dynamic of of some of these games right um and especially if you're putting a competitive team on the field like that real home field advantage when you talk about softball or soccer or baseball, I mean, that's going to have a huge effect on, you know what I'm saying, on the teams. Because these these other secondary sports ain't playing in front of crowds like that on a regular basis, right? And so if they come here and see, like, man, like the students are engaged here and even these secondary sports, um, that's going to have an impact on how competitive your teams are, you know, your, your you know where you are in the rankings throughout the year and championships you have the ability to win, right, because you're ranked better um, throughout the year in, uh, in the SWAC rankings. So 
But student engagement got to be number one, right? Got to get from freshman year all the way through senior year. Got to connect them with athletics and athletic programs and, and the events that's going on around that. Got to engage the students. Number two is you got to deal with the game day atmosphere, right? And this connects with the student engagement, but this also deals with now these the, the alumni and the others that are coming to the game, right? You, you know, HBCUs and SWAC sports, right? It's about culture. And so you got to figure out how can you grab this culture, right? These different cultural aspects of what PV is or what we have in this university is being a part of the hill. And now how can I enhance it and grow it to make individuals want to be on campus when we're talking about the, the football games? They want to be on campus when we talk about basketball support. And so you got to think about, man, what is the game day atmosphere for these different athletic programs and how do i actually um, set it up in a way how do i actually enhance it in a way to where people want to be a part of what's going on today and you don't just think about the game itself you got to think about the pre and the post game right what do you got going on pre-game that's going to entice your alumni to drive here from a uh, dallas or to drive here from a Houston, right? What do you have going on game day atmosphere wise pre and post game in order to entice them for that? That's the reality. That's what you got to do if you're going to actually climb the rankings and actually make your fan base like what you want it to be. And, and the other thing I'm going to say, right, is you got to deal with your local community. One thing that I think all these SWAC schools need to do, I mean, think about a Jackson or think about a, a Southern University. Think about a Grambling University. One thing that I know growing up in Louisiana is that even individuals like myself, my dad, who wasn't even a part of these institutions, like I, I wasn't in college yet, but like my dad didn't graduate from Graham, but he would be willing to drive to a Graham game. You had other people in Monroe and Shreveport who were willing to do that. Same thing we think about Jackson. Like Jackson has a community and people who they didn't even necessarily go to Jackson. They may just know somebody who went there, but they're just around Jackson. Right. So we're like, hey, I'm getting out and I'm supporting the, the team. I'm supporting the athletic programs of Jackson State. So on Saturdays in the fall, like I'm here to support. The local community got to be engaged. When you talk about Waller County, when you talk about Cypress right up the road, right up the street, I mean, Tomball right up the street. And not only that, but these are some programs and some ISDs that got some amazing athletes coming out them too, right? So you're talking about being able to, to elevate your athletic program, to be able to elevate yourselves in the eyes of, uh, of individuals around you that will help them to make decisions to choose Prairie View over a Sam Houston State or to choose PV over uh, another uh, lesser FBS program, right? Um, if you're going to do that, right, you need to be in the community, right? And you need to start creating fans that are from the community around you so that you aren't leaning just simply on your students. You aren't just leaning simply on your alumni, but you actually got fans of PV football who just literally live in Waller County. You got fans of PB football who literally just live in Cypress, just like, hey, on a Saturday, like because of the game day atmosphere, right? Like, man, I love to go to PV games. I love to go drive up the road 15, 20, 25 minutes, right? Let's go pay for a ticket for me and my son so we can go watch a game. You got to figure out ways to connect with your local community, right? And just as I say, you got to start with the students from freshman year, you got to start building a different type of alumni mindset to where they look at athletics at Prairie View as like something I'm involved in. You got to do the same when you talk about the community, right? How are you engaging little kids when they're in elementary? How are you getting them out to PV sporting events, right? What are you doing, right? What type of what type of special days, right? We talk about military days and things like that. Man, what about days specific to ISDs? What about days specific to youth sports programs, right? Right. What about having a youth game, right, earlier in the day at, 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 at on Prairie View's campus at on the football field? Bring those two youth sport teams right out. Bring four four sport youth sports teams out. Have them play on Prairie View's field, right? Building them the mindset of like, man, I'm playing on the field. How can you connect the high school sports team and say, hey, listen, we gonna hold we gonna hold a high school. Um, we're going to hold a high school playoff game here, right? We're going to have a high school playoff game here so that these high school kids say, man, man, I love Prairie View campus. I got to see Prairie View's facilities. That's the school I'm going to think about. And the reality is, look, 
even those individuals who may end up going FBS, but at some point in their experience on college are going to transfer, like they're going to still remember, right, these facilities at PV and going to say, listen, I think I'm going to transfer to PV. I remember their program. I remember going to their games. I remember their facilities. Like, since I'm going to drop down and look for a place to play, man, I'm going to play where I'm right up the road for my people. They can come see me. And it's a, it's an awesome environment. I've seen the environment and it's an awesome program. So th these are these are the three things that I think like AD Golf got to focus on, right? In order to turn this fan base into what it could be in order for us to climb the rankings. And like I said, right? I mean, climbing up to number five in the SWAC rankings, right? Like you are, you are the envy of a lot of FCS programs. Because the reality is the SWAC has some of the best fans, like period, point blank. HBCU schools, man, we already know. We got some of the best fans, point blank, period. If you're not talking about Power 5, like, bro, this is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely uh, think that these things would, would change the mindset and change the thought process uh, around PV Athletics. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thought process is as far as, like, what Prairie View needs to do in order to, like, turn it up. So that we can actually move up in this SWAC fan base rankings, right? Of course, it's my SWAC, SWAC fan base rankings, right? But the reality is, what do we need to do in order to where it's 15,000 every single time we got a football game? Like, it's like, it's sold out. Like, what do we got to do to get it there? What do we got to do, right, to where women's and men's basketball team, got, like, it's a packed crowd all the time there. What do we got to do for that, right? Because like I say, I'm, I mean, I grew up in the SWAC footprint, right? I've been to basketball games at Alcorn, basketball games at Jackson, right? I've been to football games in Dallas, football games in Shreveport, right? I've been to Mobile. Like I've been to all these different places and seen the different atmospheres. And so now being a Prairie View a &M graduate, right? I think there's a lot of things that we can do in order to and to enhance the product that we already have because the athletic program and the competitive nature of of these sports programs is there is great right but now we gotta like bring the fans along with it bring the alumni along with it bring the community along with it and so we can also now have that home field advantage that now turns these competitive programs into championship programs so Anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for coming on, jumping in. You know what I'm saying? We're just getting started here with the PV versus everybody. You know what I'm saying? YouTube channel, man. So make sure you lock in again. Like I said, man, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, show your support by liking this video, man, and sharing it wherever, wherever individuals may be interested. You know what I'm saying? If you know somebody that, that may think they have a better ranking than I do, then definitely let then definitely let me know right send it to him i know it ain't gonna be better than mine because hey you know what i'm saying my opinion is the right opinion you feel me but again until next time it says a classic ain't nothing classy about this